Hey, welcome back to Unreal Labs. I figured we'd change it up today. <clears throat> I got a video on, uh, I've been playing actually with uh, a sim called Wazoo. Was uh, it's pretty neat. It's free. It's open source. You can buy a cloud version of it. Um, but today we're going to just do a quick installation. I've got uh, a Ubuntu desktop that's um, in my VMware workstation kind of cloud. Um, and we can, we're going to go throughout, I'm going to clone that, uh, the main image for that Ubuntu box, and then we'll do just a one server install of Wazoo. Um, and then we'll just get it powered up and see if it, we can log into it. Um, I'll have some more videos on like adding agents and things like that. Logs, email alerts. You can find another on YouTube, but I figured I'd maybe change it up a tad. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Cisco stuff, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I want to cover some more Microsoft and then some security tools. So this will just kind of be a, off the, I don't know, maybe a new series. So let's get going. Um, so I have VMware up and running. Um, right now, we're gonna, I was going to clone that. So I have a standard image I use. This helps me speed up uh, labs or doing things. Uh, where I need just to test something and I don't want to change um, or I want a default configuration. So I have just this Linux, Linux image. It's just Ubuntu. Um, so right-clicking on it. If you do have VMware Workstation, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but uh, we'll right-click, go to Manage, and then we're just going to clone it. And I'm going to hit Next there. And we can clone it <clears throat> on the current state of the VM or we can clone it uh, and on the any snapshots that we have, you know, built off of this uh, Linux image, we're going to do the current state of the virtual machine just so it's fresh. And then you've got kind of two choices here. You can do a link clone, which you're not really, um, well, you can read that there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it requires less disk, disk space. You know, you're not like doing, like you're not copying the whole hard drive over to a different location. Um, <clears throat> So this is a lot faster, but um, yeah, if you if you do delete the master image, then you will lose the link clone will stop functioning. So that FYI, so you don't want to get rid of your master images. So hit next, and we'll call it was who, and that's how fast it is. So it should pop up over here down at the bottom, and let's power this thing on. Might take a second, I might do some pausing here, so it sure what I added for resources, but probably not that much. There it is. Let me recenter the screen a tad here. Get a little bit more of the virtual machine on there. All right. So I'm going to open a terminal. And then I've got the scripts kind of written down here. You can find this on their site. Um, their quick install, so it was who installation assistant um, got guides available there too. Actually, we'll, we'll just go through that guide real quick. That, that'll probably be the best option than, than what I have here, but um, let's, uh, so I think we need curl installed. Uh, so sudo app install curl. I don't think I had that. Yeah, I didn't. So let's put that on there. And so let's download the assistant and the configuration files. So let's copy that in the clipboard. And let's paste those in here. All right, so those are done. So the next thing we have to do, like I said, I'm gonna be paraphrasing this configuration. There's the step-by-step -step if you have multiple servers, things like that, that you're doing. We're, we're just doing a lab setup or like a small, network setup where you just want it running on one box, which is probably most 
places unless you've got hundreds and hundreds of agents or something. Um, so we want to open, we need to edit this config.yaml file and we need to change some variables here like uh, the IP address um, and maybe like the name of the box if you if you want to change that, some of the, like the node name or the server name or dashboard name. So let's go from there and let's do that. So pseudo nano config yaml and let's, I'm gonna leave these default on the names just for the lab's sake, but feel free to customize that. Oh, I need to find out my IP. So this setup too is also DHCP. I wouldn't do that either. So you wanna hard set these, but this is just a lab, so we won't. I'm sure you guys have already hard set uh, your Linux box. And then we'll, whoops. Little exit, sorry, my microphone's in my way. All right, so that's all set up for the YAML file. And now what are we doing? All right, we need to generate these config files here. So this will be our next command to run. Oh, you are right, sudo. Expand this out a little bit. I know the text is small, zoom in when I get to editing. All right, so yeah, we've got the cluster key that's in there, the certificates and passwords necessary for the installation, and we're all putting this was to install file. So if we do an ls on that, um, <clears throat> you'll notice that config.yaml file is gone, and so it used that to set these was to install files up. So the next thing we need to do is do the install. So sudo dash Wazoo, and then there's, actually let me question mark that. Actually, let me just hit it so we can, so there's some options here on the installer and the one we're wanting, and this, I didn't find this in the documentation, I think it's somewhere in here. Um, like I said, you don't, if you follow this whole thing, you're gonna be setting, like there's a lot more steps um, for the cluster than there is for the single, single uh, server setup. So right now, like we're pretty close to being done, but the only thing we need to do here is we're looking for this, just wanted to show you this A, so we're we're gonna specify like it's all in one. So we'll throw that on there. And then it's just a matter of waiting and waiting. Actually, it doesn't take too long. So it's gonna go through, do all the installation, hopefully there's no errors, and then I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back. And then it should drop our username and password um, so we're able to sign into it. So super easy, super quick setup. Um, pretty neat sim if you're looking for something to just have some reporting. I mean, it's pretty powerful with IDS. So it has an agent that goes on PCs or servers that... Um... Oh, am I... Something here. I got to cancel this here. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So we'll go through some of those in another video. I just wanted to get the server set up. So let me pause, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So it took about, I don't know, 10 minutes or something to get this <clears throat> totally installed. So as you can see, there's quite a list of things, the indexer, uh, file bead installation, uh, the wazu dashboard, wazu dashboard. Um, and then at the bottom here, uh, there you'll see your username and the, the password that's generated. You'll want to change this, um, even though it is fairly complex, I would say. 
I'm going to copy that, but uh, you can also find, um, where is that? Let me look in the documentation here. It does save that to a file. Um, not seeing it. It's maybe it's under the dashboard. Oh, where are you? Um, well, I do know it's on a file. I'll, I'll post it in the description um, once I find it. But I would just, like I said, I'd write that down or copy and paste that into into G Edit or something. So we can do that. Uh, just so you have it. And it's admin. And this is generated, so you guys can have it if you want. Uh, I'll be changing it, but um, so now let's open uh, Firefox. And since I don't have a DNS server set up or not configured right now, I guess we could do localhost, but one uh, 248, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we're seeing. So we don't have a valid certificate, we're getting this error message. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. Will it accept? And you can see our interface is coming up. Throw that password in there. And our dashboard is live. Neato. Super, super fast, super easy. Like I said, if you have like a small office you guys are working with or you have a, even a fairly decent sized company that you wanted to like bring your logs and your event management into one server where you're collecting from Cisco or 48 or, um, you know, your Microsoft stuff. So you're, we're going to be able to put, like as it's shown here, like no agents were, were added to this manager. So if we click add agent, it's pretty neat that it gives you this template. So depending on whatever OS, uh, CentOS, Ubuntu, Windows, Mac, um, it on the Windows side, this is a little outdated, but uh, not a not a huge deal. It still runs. I've tested it on server 2022. So you throw some of your settings in here, and that'll generate you um, uh, invoke web request that you can copy then and. Um, throw out on your on your servers and then you're able to you know download the installer you can also download the install the agent installer um on was or was i'm going to pronounce that wrong forever um actually that was in that documentation here so if you go into your documentation you can find that they'll actually have the download for windows there um, and then the ins installation for like, uh, especially if you're wanting to like throw it out there, there's the window installer. That's what, yeah, so you download the Win Windows installer. And then these are the command lines you'd use. So the MSI, so you could push this out if you wanted to, if you have some kind of package management software or group policy, however you wanted to do that. And then you would just specify the management, uh, the was who manager IP address um, for it to register. And we'll do that in the next video. We will start putting some agents out and start generating some alerts. Let's just go back to the home page so you can see here um, quite a few options, quite a few things to change or tweak. Um, you know, your security events. There's not going to be events right now. They're actually the only event you're probably going to see right now is the. Uh, 
is the Wazoo Manager itself. It's going to report its events here. So um, if we change something on that Ubuntu one box, uh, this actual the Wazoo server, um, it's going to be listing events also. So it's collecting that right now. Um, so there is some events in there, but nothing from. Uh, so if I SSH'd into this box, it would it would pop an alert. Uh, so yeah, system auditing, it's just a great, you know, vulnerabilities that the machine knows about. You can tie this in with all kinds of stuff. Great, just a great piece of software. So I'm going to start covering some of that um, as I learn it as I go forward too. So um, yeah, hope you can join for the next series or next couple of videos in the series and appreciate your time. Thanks again.